So I built our cruise ship. Uh, it turned out okay. I don't like the how big these stacks are. These stacks are really tall. Um, but I think you get that overall feel of the dual stacks, uh, dual, power, uh, dual power trains. You got the cabin, cat, captain's area where they can hang out over the edge. You got this big observatory on the side, uh, lobby area. So, but the bigger question is, will it float? Now, what we've done is we've capped over some of the bricks with this four by four plate. So all the bottom bricks are fully capped over. The only issue is it's really tall, really top heavy. So let's see, let's bring on the water. We are a trusty Pyrex bowl. So we're gonna put this in here and see if it floats. Oh, it's too top heavy. And as soon as, as, soon as we put it in the water, it takes water into the portholes on the side here as well. And it flops right on over. So this is the worst design that we had this week. Uh, some of them actually did float and some of them uh, were buoyant. This one is just terribly designed. I wonder if, if that is a problem with regular ocean liners is how well it floats in the water itself. Uh, it must float well because not a lot of cruise ships rock back and forth so it must just sit in there like a big brick bag of bricks uh, sit into the ocean but there you go we have some buoyancy with those bottom bricks but the overlapping bricks uh, take on water and then flip the entire structure right on over as soon as you put it into the water okay well if you like this video give us a thumbs up please subscribe down below uh, do all the things right down below and uh, let's go check out how I built this in about five minutes of time. Okay, let's go check it out. So we have the last of a will it float boat challenge, our five minute challenge where we need to build a Lego boat that floats in water. Now, um, I'm not sure if my design floated. You probably saw the intro where we actually tested the floating of this boat. But uh, I don't know if we're going to have a boat that floats. We built a really good one last time. Uh, the sailboat really floated. Now let's start the clock and let's go build a cruise ship. So a cruise ship. So I'm thinking we're going to start with these flat plates on the bottom. We're going to go with pink on the sides. We're going to go with... Um, blue. Where's the blues? We're gonna go. We're gonna try to make it as tall as possible here. So we're gonna go blue on the front, blue and blue and brown. Okay. We're gonna make it as tall as possible, and we're gonna make it as uh, large as possible. Okay, so there we go. So now we got that. Now we need the purples to overlap. Okay, so something like that. Then we take these purples, overlap it. Now, what we learned last time was the overlap doesn't work well for trapping air. But if you look here, the bottom structure, we have these sides are well um, supported and the trap the air is trapped the issue is we don't have that many more bricks on the bottom so i'm going to try to make sure that we have something back there uh, to hold that water in but we're going to see we might need these later so we'll see if that's going to hold up so now i'd like to see some portholes or windows in the side of our structure here. So let's see if we can add some windows. See if this works out well. There we go. And then something like that. Whoops. Ugh. Okay. So our color scheme is doing okay. 
I mean, it's multicolored, but that's to be expected given the pieces that we have. So I'm just trying to work out this one side here. Then let's see what we can do for the top. Something like this. And like that. We're almost three minutes in. Then the white we're going to use for the smokestacks. Like that. Okay. Actually, it's more of this way direction. Then the overhang that everybody knows and understands is where the cabin is. It's going to go right here. Okay, that overhangs the side of the ship. And now we got to fill in this other side here. So, there is an issue. We uh, don't have that many more structural entities that we can really utilize. So we're going to just fill it in. Hopefully it's buoyant. Hopefully it holds up on the float test, but we're going to see. I'm not sure. It, I'm not positive it's going to hold up. So brown there. Tap that back over. This goes there. And then this will go here. We need another long piece. There we go. And there. Then that is the cab. So we're going to put some glass in there. Sort of like that. That works. We'll put this in the back. Now how do we do this other side? Okay. So we're going to do okay, purple there. Oh, I'm almost out of time. Really crunching for time here. That one goes underneath. Five minutes are up. Dang, we're so close. So close to being all complete here. I'm going to finish it up just to make sure. Uh, what's a white brick? Close white brick. Okay, I'll use one of these yellows maybe. And there we go. This is further up. Maybe this whole section goes further up. What do you think? Like right there? Or maybe it goes further back? I think it's in the middle. I want to say it's in the middle. So something like that and that. Yeah. We got ourselves a crew. Oh, bumped the, bump the camera. We got ourselves a cruise ship. That's not bad. Um, you got the portholes on the side, right? The big windows. Um, I think there's like a Carnival cruise line that has these giant windows on the side. And there's like that middle area is a big lobby mall kind of area. That's really cool. Um, so it's a big, big uh, open area where everybody can gather. And... Up here, I don't like necessarily how this turned out. Um, let me see if I can modify this, actually. I didn't want it sloping outwards. It looks too large when it slopes outwards. So let's try, let's try something here. I'm just going to make it window-y with the window there instead. 
and then see if that works better. Yep, that works much better. Okay, so there is our cruise line. We got ourselves the, the cabin or the bridge where the captain hangs out and he can hang over the edge, see the bottom of the, uh, the boat, where it's located, how to get it into the corners, the tight corners. I think that turned out really cool. Stop the clock. <clears throat> if you think this turned out well, leave a comment down below. If not, leave a comment down below as well. We, uh, you've already seen it float, but I'm interested to see if this thing is going to float or not. Now let's check out what we are going to build tomorrow. So we build something each and every day. Let's go figure out what we're going to borrow and build tomorrow. Spin the wheel. Okay, thanks everybody for watching. Bye-bye. Well, that was a cool build. Now we got to step into February. And what I think of February is I think of Valentine's Day. So we are going to do... 14 days of Valentine's Day items. So let's get started. I got nothing but Valentine's Day items on the board. Let's spin the wheel and figure out what we're going to build tomorrow. So the first thing that we're going to build is a rose. So we got to build a rose out of our 221 pieces. And I'll leave you with this. I want everybody in our community to make something and share something each and every day. That's the whole point of this channel is to have a community of makers going ahead and making whatever they love to make. I think you'll be happier and more engaged in life if you just go ahead and make something today. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.